a 180. Uh, let's see here. There's no sassafras. I drug up out of that ditch. It's actually leaned into that tree right there. It was leaned up there uh, a couple months ago. Had the excavator here. I got a whole ass end up or the stump and started dragging it backward and it fell. And it fell out there, so I had to drag it up here and I ain't got around to cutting it up. So I thought there was going to be a log in it, but it's hollow. I took and cut, cut this notch out of the front of it to see, see it. It's got some good wood in there. I mean, it really does got some decent outside wood chip, but it has nothing on the inside. But it's hollow. Hollow, hollow, hollow. It's rotted out. Sassafras, the only bad thing is they rot real bad. We have quite a few of them that die and rolling in this. I'm probably taking out this tree here because I'm going to build a road through here all the way back to the dirt pile so we can haul dirt from here to there. And uh, I could want to cut a few things up here so I can shove it all up and push it all up there and make sure it's all in a nice, nice neat pile so I can get rid of it later. Or just bury it, whichever two. That's an old truck cab. I dug it out over Christmas break when I had the excavator here. I didn't get no videos of it, but it was right down where this big old water dirt is. Yeah, big old truck cab down there. So I dug it out. There it lays. I dug out that sassafras tree, and uh, I buried a bunch of stumps and stuff in here, but I gotta put some more dirt across this. But, uh, so it's gonna be kind of a separate video today. I'll upload it separately. A little saw in action, nothing too much. So, we'll catch y'all on the next one.